Here. Uh, Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out! Hello there! The name's Atafe. I'm a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great to meet you! Whoa, you've made quite the journey! Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tevat! Practically a sales whiz! She could sell water to a fish! <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me, though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> with that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other more obsessed merchant. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That, Dory? You know her? Wow. Lord Sangama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the Palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more Mora than I can count! <laughs> uh, looks like we lost her. Uh, should Paimon snap her out of it? Or... <sighs> Thank you. That means a lot. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to VAT. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand.
you two. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you're back! Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Yep. It's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. He was a bit amazed that someone so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. He even told me that, for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Wow. Uh, the recognition feels nice and all, but... Paimon feels even more pressure now. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing! Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! <laughs> it's just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, you'll learn something valuable from the experience. Alright, whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam.
even breeze through the advanced exam. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, traveler? If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? A memory-enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that! Sounds awesome! Well, it's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. I... Hyman didn't quite catch all that. <laughs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guy in Tibet in no time! Well, I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make.
Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory?
Osmanthus. So you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? Oh, and Kirara's here too! What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory, but Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. 
I've basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. So, we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you've practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over to that. Hmm, looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Huh. Something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? G guardian Mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Guji? Wait. Could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack. Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Yep, leave it to us. Well, while you two hop to it, I'm going to find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake. Oh, wonder what that'll be like. 
like... <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. I've told you. Nuh uh. Oh, you're here. How's the. Girl, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful. You two sure work fast. My shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion, and the pain is completely gone. The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers of Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Well, now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Oh, perfect! Lisa's here! I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-eared companions. But I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. Wow, you've placed quite the sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry! Absolutely! I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler and Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas.
Wow, I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much Mora in such a short amount of time. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. <laughs> Always so humble. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. In either case, I should already have more than enough to report back to Jean with. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Jean! Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have, especially if we want good results. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. Of course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the Knights and the Traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. Ah, oh, speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Here, I hope you like it. Public reception towards alchemical potions has been much more favorable than expected. If things continue like this, the potions industry could end up becoming a new revenue stream for the entire region of Mondstadt. We've got more than enough time to make big plans for the future. Right now, we should focus on the hard-earned success we've been able to achieve so far. How about we find a time to celebrate together? Woo! A celebration? As 
long as there's yummy food, Paimon's in! Of course. Once I've made the preparations, you'll be the first to know. I'll even do you the honor of extending your invitation in person. <laughs> oh, that does sound nice. You certainly deserve to relax after all your hard work. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. We could start to teach other people? Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. Um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? Well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are going to have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty treats. <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback on their alchemy skills, of course. I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you.
Give your potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. So, we passed? Can we teach alchemy now? What an amazing achievement, cuties. Oh, congratulations. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement, no matter how you look at it. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important! Of course! You two are practically pioneers! What you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Anyway, I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Traveler, Paimon, Thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. <laughs> <laughs> 